Hello, pop-up people. It's Lisa from Pop-Up Art School. Today, I'm gonna to make another clay pot, starting with this right here, the cylinder. And I'm, I'm gonna make a surprised face. So we had someone um, say that she, she voted for the surprise face. Um, so every week when I do these, I put a post and I give you a choice of which one you want. So she chose that one, her name's April, so thanks April. And um, before I get started, I just wanted to tell you that Pop-Up Art School is a mobile art studio. And um, we're also online. We do a lot of classes in libraries. We have four coming up this week. All of them are fall or Halloween themed. And um, we're also on OutSchool, which is an online learning platform for kids who are three to 18. So um, anyway, so let's get started. So what I'm using is this Crayola air dry clay right here in white. Um, I also have some slip, which is basically water with a little bit of clay in it. We're gonna use that to kind of glue our pieces together. I have some clay, I have a modeling tool, and I have a pin tool. You could use <clears throat> something like a popsicle stick or a toothpick if you don't have those tools. So anyway, so we're gonna do a surprise face. So I'm gonna start with the eyes. And the way I like to do the eyes is by making two balls that are the same size. If I start out with balls that are the same size, then my face will look symmetrical. Now I'm gonna score and slip. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the surface rough by using my pin tool. I'm kind of doing a cross hatch. And I'm gonna do it on the back of whatever I'm attaching. Where'd they go? Oh, it was stuck to the back of that. Uh, thought it had disappeared. So after I'm done this, I'm gonna put a little bit of slip or you could just use plain water and you only wanna use a little bit, otherwise it makes your clay slimy. And this will serve as kind of a glue so that your pieces won't fall off. If you don't do this when your piece dries, these additions will just pop right off. So I'm just gonna press them together like that. And so when we do these Facebook Lives, when I, when I do the clay ones, these are kind of like quick sketches only for about 15 minutes. Usually at that point, I need to let the clay dry for a little bit and get a little bit harder so I can work on it some more. So you'll just sort of see me do the basics and then I'll post the finish one later on in the week. So now I'm just rolling a ball around. I'm gonna make a nose now. And right now I'm just putting on basic shapes. I'll model them some more once I get them all attached to the face. Okay. Now for the mouth, I'm gonna cut out a circle. Um, what I have here, this is a toilet paper tube covered in wax paper. And then I put my clay slab around it and I put a base on it. And this is really helpful when you're working on a pot like this. And if you're pressing on it, sometimes, you know, the whole shape will collapse. And this just makes it so that I can do pretty much anything I want here and it won't ruin the shape of the actual pot. I'm gonna keep pulling some of this out. I'm gonna use a different tool. This is a loop tool. That works a lot better. All right, so if you have any questions about what I'm doing, feel free to ask in the comments. All right, so I'm making a surprised face. So the surprise emoji, it's not gonna look just like the emoji, that's sort of where my jumping off point. Um, its mouth is open kind of in an O, and the eyebrows are up kind of high. 
So I have that. Now, I'm gonna make some teeth because in the surprise emoji, you can see its teeth. So I always start by rolling it into a ball like this till it's smooth. And that's just a good place to start whenever you're using clay. If it has wrinkles in it, you're gonna have to deal with that, so. All right, so I'm making like an upper row of teeth, which I'm gonna attach. So I'm making a thin little slab. gonna fit in there. Yep, I just need to curve the edges a little bit. It'll fit better. All right, so I'm gonna place it right in here and then I'm gonna make some, do like a coil of clay and make some lips. But we gotta put this in first. And later on, I'll put some indentations in there so that it looks a little more like teeth. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to take a little more clay out. All right, so we have the teeth. Now I'm gonna make sort of um, upper and lower eyelids to go around the eyes. So I'm gonna roll out some snakes. So this clay, I'll probably let it dry for maybe three or four days depending on the weather. If it's really humid out, it takes longer. And um, then once it's all dry, I'll paint it with acrylic paint. And then I don't usually do this, but you can cover it in Mod Podge or something like that to kind of protect the surface. But I don't know, it makes it too shiny in my opinion. So I kind of skip over that. You know, it's not like I'm putting it outside or anything like that. So I do find with this clay that um, it really helps if you put a little bit of water on your tools, otherwise it drags the clay. So it really helps just to dip it in a little bit of water there. And again, you're really just gonna see the beginning process. I'll probably work on this for another half an hour when I'm all done. Just to give you the basic idea. This clip is feeling pretty wet. Probably because I put the teeth in there. All right, this is really hard <laughs> to score because it's so teeny tiny, but just rough it up as best you can. And I really only want to put a little bit of water because like I said, it's pretty damp. So I've said this before, but I'll say it again. A lot of working with clay is about timing. So sometimes you have to let it rest a little bit and dry a bit. And certain things are easier once it's been sitting a bit out in the air. Like if you were carving clay, it helps to have it um, not very soft. 
feel like I'm doing plastic surgery here. <laughs> So I already have this rolled out and I'm gonna cut two lengths of it so that they're the same because we're working on a face which is usually pretty symmetrical. So we want to try, make an effort to make everything even on one side or the other. So those look good. One thing I found, a little trick with this clay, is if I use a damp brush and you don't want a whole lot of water on here you can use it hold on let me grab a little towel I want to dry it off a little bit more you can use it to smooth out certain parts that are maybe you know too small for your fingers so that's really helpful once you get to, to a certain point Okay, so I'm gonna throw those eyebrows on there. Okay, and I'm just gonna work on the nose and the mouth a little bit more. And then I'm gonna let it sit, like I said, for you know, maybe an hour or so. When I'm done with this, I will post a picture of it after I painted it and everything. I'll post it on our Facebook page and then look for a post probably on Monday. Um, and I'll ask you what kind of face or expression you want me to put on the pot next week. And I um, also want to tell you that Janelle does a Facebook Live every Sunday at 7 p.m. And she's been doing... Um, some optical illusions. Um, last week she did the word vote, but she did kind of like a cool S-shaped flower. So these are just meant to be quick little things. There's the eyes. So anyway, hope you guys have a great week and um, I'll see you again. Bye!